Hey everybody, Bad Billy coming at you here. It's uh, about 8 o'clock on uh, Tuesday after Memorial Day, May 29th. Just wanted to uh, share with you guys a uh, new acquisition today. Picked up my uh, second CZ pistol. Uh, basically, some background on this. Uh, ever since I picked up my P07 used i've been planning my next purchase of a cz pistol pretty much since the day i fired it and uh i've been pining after uh one of these for a while seems like it's a popular item a lot of guys in our community uh shoot them and own them so i figured that this would be the one i would uh i would get next so i got a call from my uh ffl today that uh I had a transfer come in from uh, South Carolina, and it was ready to be picked up, and uh, I picked her up, and I got a uh, Shadow 2. I uh, picked up this uh, Shadow 2 from uh, Pops Quest. He uh, sold it to me, um, slightly used, and uh, I'm extremely happy with the uh, with the purchase. It's uh, it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a sweet uh, sweet pistol to have. He uh, converted it over to the safety instead of having the decocker on it, which was my preference anyways. And uh, the uh, trigger on this thing, just dry firing it in the house, is obviously amazing. The reset probably is the shortest uh, trigger reset of any pistol I've ever uh, handled. Um, it's got the green fiber optic sight on it instead of the red, which I think I would have uh, done as well. And uh, it came with uh, the two uh, black factory CZ mags as well as the, uh, the stainless uh, factory CZ mag. comes with uh, three in the box. So came with uh, all the standard stuff, cleaning rods. Uh, Allen keys and bushings and uh, of course paperwork and everything and uh, yeah I'm, ex I'm extremely uh, happy to have it can't wait to uh, get out and shoot it it unfortunately won't probably be until uh, next weekend I get to shoot it I've got a golf trip coming up pretty uh, quick here I'm gonna be going on so it's gonna have to sit for a little bit uh, Pops Quest was uh, nice enough to uh, send me the uh, factory grips along with it a uh, insert for a race master holster if I decide I want to do competition and shoot with the race master holster I have the insert for it and then a blade tech holster as well uh, the pistols got the uh, lock grips on it um, a guy that's in uh, from Michigan area that makes all the grips that seems like uh, Pops Quest and Big Johnson and a few other guys have uh, purchased they're really really nice they're very uh, grippy tacky um, I believe I'll leave them on there. Um, they are pretty much the right size for me. They're the thinner ones, which I like. Gives you a better uh, grip on the gun. I might try a set of the ones that have the palm swell to them just to see how they are and uh, go from there. But it, uh, this is kind of the pistol. I originally thought I wanted a tactical sports orange, and I decided to go with this because I kind of think that I might want to try some competitions, some USPSA, and uh, this is pretty much, as far as I can tell, pretty much about the best gun you can, you know, purchase for shooting in a stock or factory division for USPSA. As soon as you move up into something that's got a mag well or a better trigger or a thumb rest or anything like that, it puts you in the open division and then you're competing against guys that are going to destroy you with race guns. So... That's kind of why I decided to go this route instead of buying the Tactical Sports Orange. Maybe someday I'll get a Tactical Sports Orange. You never know. But uh, <clears throat> I wanted to uh, say thank you to uh, Pops Quest for uh, selling me the pistol. I'm not at liberty to say what I paid for it, but uh, we'll just say that I got the, the family price on it. The Ammo Mafia family price. And uh, appreciate you uh, shipping it out to me, Pops and uh, all the stuff along with it and uh, once I uh, get out and shoot it I will uh, make another video thanks guys for watching hope everybody has a, a great week great short week and I will uh, talk to you soon take care